G'day, I'm Ralph Schwartz. Welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. Recently I started a new playlist and started producing videos on first aid. Having been a first aider for over 35 years, I uh, started buying a couple of different first aid kits and reviewing them um, for their use in the outdoors and how suitable they may be in the outdoors. One of the things I decided I would do was to show, not do a first aid course, but to show some of the more common outdoors bushwalking camping injuries and how to treat them. And so what I decided to do was purchase what's called a moulage kit or a simulation kit. And I guess what this is, is, uh, is pretend wounds that, uh, that you can then strap on yourself, glue on yourself other people and then show people how to treat the wounds. So it took ages to get here but what's turned up is um, is an assortment of bits and pieces. Firstly we've got a, a, a dozen stick-on wounds and what they do and we've got glue by the way we've got glue in the pack here body adhesive and you stick these wounds on and I'll show you some cutaway footage of what that looks like and then you can as simulation wounds and then you can go about treating them I guess is what all there is some of these wounds are fairly actually all of these wounds are fairly ordinary or these simulations are fairly ordinary the money you spend for a moulage or a simulation kit that's a lot of money for a, for a lot of nothing that's really turned up one of the big ones here is um, is a compound fracture or deep uh, deep injuries which have a little attachment there that you can fill up with simulated blood and plug in there and a pump and you can pump the blood so blood comes pouring out of these again I'll, I'll do a close-up which simulates uh, an arterial flow and so this would typically attach to a, a leg an arm possibly even a part of the body like for ribs if you wanted to simulate that as a rib and then the blood pouring out and then you treat the injury it's more of a almost like a, a, a Halloween costume but uh, which thankfully wasn't here by Halloween otherwise I think the kids would have jumped on that and went right we're using that but they didn't and they didn't even know about that it's that it's come <laughs> but um, yeah got some got some paints to simulate other wounds um, blue, oh yeah okay for various bits and pieces um, and we've also got casual, um, casualty simulation wax so you can get this wax and simulate um, broken bones anything like that it has simulated blood and it has also powder um, blood powder which you can then mix in a ratio and it's got the instructions on there also handily has broken glass so you can put broken glass into any of these wounds to simulate uh, that sort of accident where you may have had a you may be treating casualties that are involved in a car accident um, the last thing it's got is, uh, is a little simulation book which basically just tells you all the do and don'ts and it's almost all don'ts which is good to know but it doesn't tell you much about how to use it it just shows you a whole lot of other moulage kits that they sell a bit of self congratulation there and not a lot of helpful information so I've actually used these uh, in two situations before once on a ship for emergency response exercise 
and once at a, uh, a refinery for the same thing, emergency response exercise where we had emergency services, helicopters, all sorts of stuff coming in and doing a joint exercise. The realism you can get from these is fantastic if you've got a good kit. So the money I spent for this one and what's in it, disappointed. However, let's make the, the best of it. So there you have it. There's some, there's some simulations, what they look like and how to use them. I hope that's been helpful to you. I'm going to be making a couple of parts to this uh, little series to, uh, to show you how to treat the, the, the most common outdoors and bushwalking injuries and using the simulation kit and possibly some of the makeup to, uh, to ensure that we get as much, not so much realism in that, uh, in, in the movie sense, but just so you can identify what some of these injuries look like and how to treat them. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Please like and leave a comment. I always enjoy reading the comments. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thanks for watching.